it is Lindsay here and I am with you today for your back to school what's up Wednesday edition and today I get to talk to you about my five favorite Canva tools and um, I'm gonna tell you that I am late to the Canva train I know I'm, I'm ashamed of myself but my friends dragged me kicking and screaming but I am finally here and y'all Canva is amazing okay so I'm going to show you my five little tools that I love. Hopefully it's something you don't know about and I'm going to get out of here and we're going to start off with my first one and I will tell you my first one is is helpful for sure. It's not super fun but it is very helpful and so I want to show it to you because it's kind of a new feature so I'm going to go to the Canva homepage and you'll know if you've created any designs in Canva like look at my recent design section like there's a bunch of stuff in here lots of little things in here. And so sometimes it's hard to find the thing that you need fairly quickly. So Canva now has added the ability to star. So notice as I hover over these, I can star them. And it's basically like making it your favorite. And so once you start, it's gonna end up here. And then you're able to quickly and easily access those things that you need without having to dig through your whole design list, which love this feature. Um, I, I'm gonna use it all the time just because there's so much in here as I keep building out more and more as I learn more about Canva. So all you do is hit the star and then once it's starred, you just come over here, click to open it and you're into your stuff, which is so, so helpful. So that was the first one. And like I said, I know that one was not as fun, but it is super helpful and I wanted to make sure to show it because it's a fairly new feature. But the next thing I'm gonna show you is, so I'm building out my beginning of the year slideshow and this is like my meet the teacher one. And so you'll notice I've got my little bit emoji and I've got some stuff on here and then I've added some text and it says, I am your host for this back to school what's up Wednesday. I am happy to show, okay, this is not, this is like when I was not feeling super creative, right? But I need to lensify this because I want to make it more exciting. So what you're going to do is select your text box and then if you notice on your toolbar here, you've got magic right. So I'm gonna click that. Y'all, there's a bunch of things in here. Like you can make this more fun, make it more formal. You can sprinkle fairy dust to make it magical. But what I wanna talk to you today about is my voice or changing your voice. You can actually take text that you have written, drop it in here and have it analyze it. And it's going to learn your voice. I mean, it's the, the coolest thing. So you would go to add a new voice and in here you would just paste some sample text of how you um, write whether it's an email whether it's from a document just an example of some of the ways that you communicate give it a new name and then you say analyze and it's gonna listen not listen it's not gonna listen it's going to read through and analyze that voice and say okay so this is um, fun and friendly and, and whatever or if it's professional this is professional and, and carefully worded or whatever it's gonna say and then what you do is once it has that select that text box again. Let's say I want to make this a little bit professional. Like I want to be professional Lindsay right now. So I'm going to say professional and it's going to change this to hmm, as your guide for this educational focused edition of what's up. Okay, that's fine. I'm not trying to be professional right now. So I'm going to undo that. I want to make this a little bit more fun. So I'm going to change it to enthusiastic. So it's going to think for a second and it's going to tell me Friends, welcome to this exciting back to school edition of What's Up Wednesday. Do I say friends? I think I say friends a lot. So, but listen, all I did was take some text from things that I have done, dropped it in there, and now it's getting my voice. So whether it's text you type out, you're just not like really feeling funky right now, you just type out what you need to do or you copy and paste things, you can change those things into whatever voice you need to, whether it's, um, uh, what did I put, enthusiastic, or whether it's professional, whatever you need to do. I love this idea so, so much. So that's the first thing, which is magic, right? Change voice. The second one, or I'm on tip three actually, is okay, so I've got my favorite things on here, which is reading animals, music, pizza. Now listen, I am not creative, but even I can look at this and know this slide needs a little bit of work. So what I wanna do is I wanna add a graphic to this. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna come over here to the left, go down and go to magic media, and I'm not gonna do images, I want a graphic. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna enter five words to describe the graphic I'm looking for. So what I want is I need a lady reading a book um, surrounded by animals while eating pizza. 
okay? And it is going to use AI to generate this image. Now, it takes a little bit of time, so while it's doing, I will tell you, you may have to try this a couple of times, like I tried to do a crawfish riding a blue triceratops because I'm from Louisiana, crawfish, and our Tom Triceratops um, is our, our mascot, and so I was trying to get a crawfish riding it, and it was horrifying some of the results. So just know you might have to tweak it a couple of times, but this is what it's given me. Y'all look how cute these are. I love it. Ooh, this looks like a lot of pizza. I'm going to find the image that I want. If it's not really what I want, it's going to finish doing. There's this one again. I can do generate again and it'll, it'll keep trying to give me more, but I'm just going to go, let's do this one. This one's cute. because She's got a lot of pizza. So there's my image. There's the lady reading the book with all her animal friends surrounding her with her pizza. That's a happy Lindsay right there, okay? But also notice music. I have music missing from here. And so I, there's really probably no way I could add music to this. So instead of that, I'll just wanna add some music images. So I'm gonna come back to the left. I'm gonna go to elements and I'm gonna add, I've already looked through, I'm gonna add this, something from this one. Now I don't want that whole image, that's like a whole lot of stuff, I don't really want that. I just really want this pink music note. So what you can do now is you select your image and go to edit, and there is something called magic grab, and it truly is magical. So what you do with magic grab is, let's do this red one, you select what you want. So I just want this music note. So I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna think for a second and when it finds it and when it grabs it, it's gonna turn it like a purple, there we go. So I'm gonna say grab. It's gonna think for a minute while it's grabbing this little one element from this image and then it's gonna give me that one and I can edit and do what I need to do. So just think about the different things that you can do with this. If you've got a picture of the water cycle and you want to just grab the evaporation part of it, you can do that. Okay, so look, it's got it here. That's what I want. So I'm gonna move this off, click on this and delete that image. And then I just wanna put some music notes everywhere. So I'm just gonna copy and paste a couple of these and then I'm able to decorate my page with my music notes. Y'all, how fun is this? I love it, I love it. Okay. So that was number four, Magic Grab. Number five, I'm not gonna be able to show you completely, but y'all, you can do recordings too when you're doing presentations. And so I've built this out, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna record myself doing this because I know throughout the school year, I'm gonna get new students and new parents and they're gonna wanna watch a copy of this or they're gonna wanna know a little bit about me so I can share this recording with them without having to like re-deliver it for them. So you would go to present, present and record, and it's gonna show you where your little, uh, camera image is gonna be, and then you just go through and do the recording, and y'all, it's quick and easy, saves it, you're good to go, and it's something that you can share whenever you need to. So I love that you can now just easily record in here. So, uh, starring objects, your magic right and all the things in there, but specifically your voice, your magic media to do text to graphics, um, your magic grab to just pull elements and then the recording. Now, I'm gonna show you one more little lanyap thing. Now, this is not um, in Canva, but you can use it in Canva. I just heard about this website and so I wanted to show you. I don't even know if I'm saying this right, but it's Creazilla. And y'all, it's 10 million free graphics that you can use anywhere you want for personal commercial projects. Now, I know you're looking at this homepage and it's all these little images and you're thinking, I really wouldn't wanna use these, but look, watch. I'm just gonna search for a puppy. Y'all, look at this, look how cute some of these images are. There's some real ones, there's some graphics, there's some clip art, there's a little Halloween puppy, a husky, like there's so many cute things. I'm just gonna do this first little one. Notice it's got a transparent background, so I'm gonna copy this one. I'm just gonna right click and copy. And then I'm able to come over here, drop it right in, boop, resize, and there's my cute little puppy from Creazilla. So, hope this was helpful. Um, I know y'all are getting ready for back to school. We are here to support you guys with whatever you need. You're gonna have a fantastic year and I hope this helps. I'll see you again soon. Bye you guys.